It's time for love readings. You're going to get the most out of this love reading if you watch it for your moon sign. This video right here, if you haven't seen it, will tell you why. There's a link in the description box below so you can go right to that to find out why. Um, but regardless of whether you're watching this for your moon sign, which you should be, um, or, or not, whatever, um, I just wanna tell you what we are covering today. What do you need to let go of? Um, what what are you attracting this month in regards to love? What's out of your control? And then what act, what do you need to take action on? We're going to look at singles, couples, and then it's complicated situations. So that could be polyamorous. Maybe um, you're talking to each other, but it's not Facebook official yet. On again, off again, whatever that is. I'm going to do singles first, then couples, and then it's complicated last. The reason being because sometimes when it's complicated, pieces of the single reading and the couple's reading will resonate hard for you and you might wanna go and watch those pieces as well, okay? Um, I think I already said, but this reading is from now until June 15th. Um, and the reason why I go half month to half month is because I put out the general readings at the beginning of every month and then money readings um, also right after that. So let's get started. Oh, I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck today. If you're wondering what that's about, there's a link in the description box below if you wanna purchase one. I don't sell them, but um, if you get it through the affiliate link, I might get like two or three cents from that and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So you're just helping a sister out to keep making these videos. Sagittarius. Sagittarius singles, what do you need to let go of? Going back to the past, and talking it through. Whether you're doing that with a friend, whether you're calling up your exes and trying to figure out, you know, like where did we go wrong or, you know, you did this to me or whatever, or even if it's just you having a conversation with yourself, thinking about the past, time just to let that shit go. We're focused on now and the future. So what are you attracting right now? Um, not your soulmate. Okay, so maybe that's because you're going back and focused on the past because what we think about, we bring about. And so we're maybe bringing in these kinds of energies of not old people into our life that are just not for us. So what's outside of your control this month? And they're saying, you know, other people, well, okay, basically what you give out, you're gonna get back. Okay, so be really conscious and careful with what it is that you're giving out. If you're giving out jealous vibes, angry vibes, you're gonna get that back you know, times you multiplied, okay? If you're giving out love, if you are being um, a generous tipper, you know, when the, um, when the delivery driver brings your food, then someone will be generous with their money and stuff later. Or same thing with your energy, right? With the amount of time you take to reach out to friends, things like that. So they're saying, you'll all know where that's um, going to hit. Wherever that hit right away, when it was like, hey, whatever time or energy you know you put out there, wherever you felt like that matched for you, go with that, because it's gonna be different for a few of you. Okay, so what do you need to take action on this month in order to get the love that you desire, you know? And they're saying, really figure it out. What is it that I need? Selfishly, on an emotional level, what do I need emotionally from a partner? Because I think when you go backwards in time, you know, and you're thinking about all these things, um, there was a lot that you weren't getting that you needed, right? And so if you do, if you must go back in time and talk about things or think about things, at least start focusing on the positive opposite of what you didn't have or what you wanted so that we're starting to attract that because right now you're not attracting the right person for you. So for those of you that are coupled, what do you need to let go of? And they're saying um, that when there's no disappointment, it doesn't mean that it's coming around the bend. So let go of the expectation that, you know, the the ball's about to drop the, or the shoe's about what, I don't know what the expression is. Maybe you can tell me in the comments, in the comments, the shoe's about to, I don't know. Anyway, point is, don't expect that something bad's gonna happen. You know, it's not the calm before the storm. Maybe there is no storm. Maybe every day is, you know, sunny. Okay, so what are you attracting into your relationship right now? Uh, everything you fucking want, awesome. So what's outside of your control? And they're just saying, you know, that your intuition isn't spot on and that you're still within a cycle that hasn't ended yet, but it doesn't mean it's a bad cycle. Anything that feels bad is going to be for your highest good down the road. So what is it you need to take action on in your relationship? What they're saying is, um, you need to be very clear and direct on what it is that makes your heart shine, what it is that you want, what it is that makes you feel good, because when you express that to your partner, they're gonna show you who they are, right? They're either going to give it to you or work towards doing that, 
or it's going to be obvious that they're not the right one for you. Now, I think for the majority of you, you're not in a bad relationship. So by saying, hey, this is what I want. This is what I'm manifesting. This is what I'm drawing in. And this is what I'm telling you. Then you're going to get it. Good for you. So for those of you in complicated situations, what is it that you need to let go of? And they're just saying um, this foolhearted energy like, oh, anything can happen. Like, it's fucking wonderful. That's usually a good attitude to have. But right now, you're too focused on the little details of things. Um, it's the tiny details that matter just a little too much. So what's outside of your control? Um, you Actually, okay. So there are going to, whoever you're dealing with might either have a marriage outside of you, a long-term commitment, okay? Maybe they're married to their work. It could be that. It's just a long-term commitment. Um, or maybe they're wanting that from you and you're just not wanting that right now, okay? So what is it that you need to take action on? And they're just saying, you know, be amenable, be open to untraditional scenarios. Think, thinking outside of the box as to how this relationship or unrelationship is gonna work, okay? Love you so much. See you next month.